Hey, what up, Tube? It's your boy Jack Spizzle, back up in your visual. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is just making some beats, but I'm gonna make a bunch of different beats all in one session. I do this because it's, it's kind of like a brainstorming technique while I come up with a bunch of different melodies and stuff like that and a bunch of different grooves. I do this because I like to mix and match all of the different vibes that I have, and, and it's a great technique to um, just keep my juices flowing and, and enhance my creativity. So let's get into this beat right after the spade. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna just start making beats and start making riffs and stuff like that. All right, the first thing I got loaded right here is my arcade plugin from Output. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate this track right here, right? Then I'm gonna flatten one of these tracks here. Freeze track. And flatten it. Reason I'm doing that is um, I wanna actually like, I don't wanna like ruin the plugin. I wanna save the plugin to create more stuff, but I'm gonna have these other melodies over here. All right, so what I wanna do on this is I want to throw half time on here. Yeah.
this is a good foundation for this beat. Um, what I do as I go along, you know, I add more tracks, add more instruments, um, use some of the same instruments that I've been using, you know, um, you know, I just keep it pushing. And um, I try not to overthink it too much. And I, and I make sure that, like, each beat is a different, totally different style. So we go back to our first beat. You know, then you got the second beat. So, I'm going to take a water break. And while I take a water break, I'm going to also talk about our sponsor, DistroKid. They don't take no breaks. They'll get you into any of the stores, any of the platforms, streaming platforms, for one price, $19.99. And up, you know what I'm saying, depending on how many people you got on your crew. But if it's just you, it's $20. It's easy. It's easy. So DistroKid is my distributor of choice for getting my music on streaming platforms. They get your music into Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Pandora, Amazon, Instagram, YouTube, Tidal, iHeartRadio, Deezer, and a bunch of other ones you probably never heard of. But hey, they the music going to be on there and you know, you're going to get 100% of your earnings and you get paid monthly. Now, DistroKid will have your music in stores 10 to 20 times faster than any other distributor at a fraction of the price. I mean, it's 20 bucks. Really, it's $19.99, but come on, it's 20. To upload unlimited albums and songs for a year. On top of that, they have so many features that make my life easier. So if you ever want to collab with an artist and you don't really know the person, you know what I'm saying? Or even if you know the person, you want to make sure that you get your splits right. And with DistroKid, it's really easy because it automatically roots any percentage of earnings to however many collaborators you got. So um, once y'all decide on the percentage, DistroKid does the rest. They also have HyperFollow, which is a dope promotional tool that is a one-stop shop for all the links to streaming services and stores for your DistroKid release. And it's super convenient. I mean, DistroKid allows you to also get instantly verified by Spotify. On top of that, you can upload sync lyrics, get a YouTube artist channel, YouTube ID, and the list goes on. So, if you need to release your music, go with DistroKid. It is the best. Let's go.
what's so cool about doing multiple beats in one Ableton session is that, you know, I get to audition different drum loops and patterns and melodies with the different beats, you know, and they might be like different styles. So if I come with, let's see here, this drum loop. totally different feel than what I had. Maybe I want to go with this drum loop. This right here. And then put this in. Change up the drum. Try with this. So I can be really creative when I have like a, a, a bunch of different things that I can audition and go through. You know, this is a great way to um, brainstorm. If you have like beat block or something like that, you can just create a whole bunch of different melodies, a bunch of different loops, um, pull in other loops. That's why I love Ableton Live and I love working from the session view because when I'm in a state of creativity, I don't want to think about the arrangement too much yet. I'm just trying to figure out the feel, the groove, the sound and everything like that. And I can always take these loops and expand it into a full song, start arranging and stuff like that. Um, so I, I really love working like this and this is why I use Ableton Live. So that's it, man. Like and subscribe. Y'all know what to do. And until the next time, y'all be easy. One.